In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Carlson Photo Capture to process image files from a drone and then turn them into a point cloud and ortho image for use in survey and plan applications. We begin by launching Carlson Photo Capture either through your browser or if you already have point cloud or P3D Topo, you can launch directly from there. The next step is to log into Photo Capture through your Carlson account. The username and password will be the same as Carlson's other login criteria that is tied to your Carlson email address. If you do not yet have a Carlson account, you can create one through this login screen. Once logged in, launch Photo Capture. Create a new site by clicking on Create. Add a user-defined site name, followed by output units and a desired projection. It is important to know that you can enter data in from different units than your desired output. Photo Capture will convert them to whatever output projection and units you would like. Once a site is created, you just simply drag and drop the geo-referenced JPEG images produced by the drone or you can browse and select them from your computer. You will now see all of the image files superimposed over an aerial image of the site. This allows you to quickly see whether or not you have the correct projection set and if your images cover the site you are interested in. The next step is to add ground control points or GCPs. Photo Capture will produce image files as well as point clouds without the use of GCPs, but in order to obtain survey accuracy, ground control points must be used to fix the images on the ground. Again, the units and projection of the GCPs must be set as it is possible to have the image files on a different projection or units than the ground control points themselves. Once the GCPs are uploaded, Define each point as whether it is a ground control point or a checkpoint. All ground control points will be used to fix or reference the images, whereas checkpoints will only display residual differences once the process is complete. The ground control points as well as the images will be displayed and you are prompted to confirm that the locations are correct. Click to confirm that the coordinate projection is correct and then hit create. The program now uploads all of the files from your computer, which may take several minutes depending on the number of and size of each image file. Once all files are uploaded into Photo Capture, you will receive an email letting you know that the process is complete. Once all the files are uploaded, your own computer will not be part of the process, so you can move on to other tasks while Photo Capture does the work. The next step in the process is to rectify or reconcile each ground control point. You will be prompted to do so, and each set of photos with a particular GCP in common will be displayed on the screen. You will see a red marker at the point that the image file considers the location of the GCP based on the coordinates. This initial location could be off several meters from the drone, so you need to fix each one in position. To do so, just simply click in the actual location of the GCP. Making use of targets in your survey is an invaluable method of ensuring proper locations so they are they are far less subjective than other existing ground features might be. Click on each image file as each one is reconciled. You will notice that after two or three images have been reconciled, the red marker becomes much closer to the actual location on each image. This happens as the program begins to adjust it. You do not have to reconcile every image for this reason, but I personally recommend it that you do take the time to reconcile all of the images. If you do not want to use a particular image, just click the X button and move on to the next one. Once all images have been reconciled, 
click to the next GCP and repeat the process. The same procedure is used for each checkpoint as well. Once all GCPs and checkpoints have been reconciled, you will be prompted to click Finish. The program quickly reviews the entries and will display a warning if an unacceptable amount of GCPs have been used or too little a number of images have been rectified. At this point, you may return to the process of correcting ground control or checkpoints. Once satisfied, click Apply Corrections. Photo Capture processes the data via online ser servers, so once again, you may return to other activities and wait for an email to inform you that the process is complete. This may take a few hours. Once notified by email that the process has been completed, return to Photo Capture, open the site, and take a look at the output products. The image upload is a review of the uploaded data, so the first thing to look at is the bundle adjustment. Here you will see the results of the process. Click on View. You will notice Photo Capture contains several dialog boxes with prompts and instructions as you go through the data. These can be silenced once you are familiar with the program. The results of correcting the image files are colored, coded red, yellow, and green. Green being those that fall within acceptable tolerance. The residuals of each are displayed by clicking on each GCP and reviewing their respective X, Y, and Z residuals. The same goes for the checkpoints. As you can see, there are some checkpoints that are out of range, meaning they were mislocated or more likely reconciled using the wrong ground feature. Another downloadable product I am interested in is the point cloud. By clicking view in the dense point cloud, I am able to see the colored pixels produced from the images. This point cloud can be downloaded and used to extract both vertical and horizontal data to create a final plan from. In addition to the point cloud, a surface model is created, which creates a more modeled look of the final product that is suitable for presentations. A composite ortho image is also created, which again can be downloaded and viewed for presentation or brought into CAD for use in drawing. There is a project report that displays the particular specifications of the site data and resulting accuracy. This again can be downloaded and printed out for reference. For this and most projects that I survey, I download the point cloud LAS file and the ortho image as a GeoTIFF file, which are saved. You download them as a zip file and subsequently extracted to my computer for use. To handle the point cloud, I use Carlson's Point Cloud program, which is an easy to use program that allows you to set Carlson points that are then processed using the Field to Finish program. The GeoTIFF I use as an underlay for drafting purposes.